Hello and welcome, this is FNN 104 and we have our semi-finals for the FNN World Championship Tournament and we will be seeing starting off our tournament matches will be Hardcore Bob Holly going up against Ray Phoenix a former champion going up against a new challenger and of course we have two former champions with a grudge that goes back over four years as Drew Galloway faces Buddy Murphy. Now let's enter the fight zone. You can see that's Bob Holly getting ready for his match backstage in the locker room area and wait a second that is Nick Aldis we've seen Nick Aldis get defeated by Bob Polly now he's challenged him to a fight and he just rushes him and look at this just stomping down on Bob Polly here what the hell is the meaning of this now Nick Aldis and they both just go tumbling through the table Nick Aldis taking it to Bob Polly here for no reason. He's got him up in the power bomb position. Almost a variation of the Reaper's throne right there. And wait a second, here we go. The Kingsland Cloverleaf locking him in. The referee trying to get in between them, but he's not going to succeed. Nick Aldis screaming at him to tap out. And that's exactly what Bob Polly does. Bob Polly just taps out. And Nick Aldis just throwing him into locker rooms. Just throwing him into the lockers here, sorry. And now he's not finished with him into the locker, he goes again. Bob Holly's in a match later on tonight, and wait a second, here we go, powerbomb position again. And Christ almighty, right into the locker. What the hell does that mean for Bob Holly later tonight? Tony Storm has been our champion since FNN Legacy, successfully defending it against T-Nail Dash with the FNN Homecoming, and of course goes up against another challenger here tonight, not for the Women's World Championship, but she is going up against a legend in the form of Jazz, and you will know Jazz from the WWF, from Impact Wrestling, a legend in her own right, and Tony Storm said that she will, she will not go easy on her because because Jazz refuses. So Jazz refusing to allow Tony Storm to go easy on her. Oh, and we're throwing it right back here with this theme right here. So Jazz, a former WWF Women's Champion, coming in to FNN, kind of coming out of retirement, so to say, here to face off against Tony Storm. Tony Storm did say she wanted challengers because at the end of the day, no one can line up because the GM get taken out by Tony Storm. So the GM isn't able to go hire new people. She said that everyone just wants to go to shooting star, which does seem to be the case. But Jazz accepted that challenge here tonight, and now we're about to see Jazz versus Tony Storm in a first time ever professional wrestling match right here. And now the fans in the fight zone are ready. Tony Storm is also ready and as is Jazz and the bell has been rung here we go going for a big scoop slam here right off the bat by Tony Storm Storm taking it to Jazz now just with these strikes after strikes and here we go with the dragon suplex Jesus dropping her down in the back of her head Jazz already rocked by the world champion right here now Tony Storm going for a discus forearm there, but Jazz says, oh hell no, and here we go with these big kicks into a clothesline. 
takes Tony Storm down. Beautiful. Big Irish whip into the corner, just tosses around. Here we go. And a forearm to the back of the head. The power by Jazz getting shown in full effect right here. Throws Tony Storm down to the canvas. And just stomping her. Just stomping a hole in Tony Storm here. There we go, Jazz now. Just look at this. Just not not giving an inch, not letting Tony Storm breathe a single second without bringing some violence. Here we go, the small joint manipulation right here and into the knees on the spine. Jazz is not taking it easy on Tony Storm right here. I thought she would have a bit of ring rust, but showing absolutely none of it right here. Christ, massive forearm take. Taking Tony Storm right down. Big Irish whip now. Tony Storm dazed in the corner. Receives a big chop across the chest. Does not get the second one. And now Tony Storm taking it to Jazz here. Strike after strike. Big European uppercut and a flying clothesline to the face. Now here we go, these leg kicks. Kicks to the chest, another uppercut here. And Tony Storm throwing Jazz to the outside and she lands hard and Tony Storm not finished just yet. Tony Storm through the ropes of the drop kick. Now just picking up Jazz here, throwing her into the ring, up to the top rope. She goes all the way up there. Calling Jazz to her feet. Jazz dazed. No catches on to the power bomb. Christ, the fallen power bomb there. Now just bashing the head off of the canvas. Now Storm picking up. Jazz here, Jazz with these strikes to the spine. Side rushing leg sweep. Jazz really taking it to the world champion here. Big Irish whip into the corner, another one to the spine and a second for good measure. Here we go! Into the steel ring post she goes. Fight zone on her feet for this match right here. Just stomping down in the throat. Try to close off the windpipe. Now here we go, big Irish whip into the corner again, Jazz follows her but misses, I think she was going for a forearm there, and misses all of it. Here we go, big hip toss, gets her over. Taking down Jazz with the hip toss, big Irish whip into the corner, and big drop kick, here we go, Tony Storm off the turnbuckle, and into the face of Jazz. Tony Storm now. Here we go, Northern Lights Supple X. Beautiful right there. Now, what can Tony Storm do to change the momentum fully into her favour here? And Tony Storm calling Jazz to her feet. Here we go. Running knee strike straight to the face. Going for the pin. One, two, three. No. Tony Storm thought that would be it, but it was not enough to put Jazz away. Now Storm called Jazz to her feet here. Go for a big forearm there, Jazz says no, drops her down into the STF, here we go. Wrenching right back, Storm is in trouble, the world champion is in trouble, this close to sold out as well. No, just elbows are right in the nose. Second one into the eye. Here we go, Northern Lights suplex again. Centre of the ring goes Jazz. And wait a second, that is Mickey James, that's the general manager. What the hell? And you can see Tony Storm has just noticed her. Tony Storm is not happy. Mickey James is in the building here. Getting the fans fired up and you can see Tony Storm just showing off, Mickey James responding. But wait a second, look behind Tony Storm, Jazz back to her feet, clobbering blow to the back of the head. Up to the second rope, she goes big DDT. She took her eyes off of Jazz for those few seconds and of course Jazz takes advantage, big snapmare into a kick to the spine. 
Now here we go, here we go, here we go. What's she going for? Holy shit, an exploder drop kick straight to the face. Like a rocket was strapped to her there. Drop to all takes Tony Storm down, the champion in trouble, the champion a bit confused completely here as to why Mickey James has just made a sudden re-emergence. She not mentioned her last week, but Mickey James looking in good shape here back in the fight zone. Wonder what that means. Suplex off the top rope. Christ. No jazz. Tony Storm getting up very slowly. Jazz perhaps going for a big clothesline here and she just ducks under. She ducks under. Big Irish whip. And the German suplex. You see Jazz grabbing at that neck. And Tony Storm eyeing it up. It looks like we're about to get a storm coming down. The Storm Zero drops her down in the knee. One, two, three. And that is it. Over. Tony Storm getting the big one against Jazz here tonight. And of course, it was a non title match, but she is still your FNN Women's World Champion here. And of course, we're not going to ignore from the fact of who's in the crowd Mickey James making a beeline to the ring, and Tony Storm sees her. She knows exactly who she is. Oh my god, the face-off we never thought would happen. And here we go, goes to hit with the championship and the mid kick right there. Takes down the women's world champion. And a big clothesline. Mickey James taking out Tony Storm right here over the rope. She goes and punches her to the outside. Mickey James making an impact and perhaps the proverbial battle lines have been drawn once again. Mickey James is holding the FNN Women's World Championship again. What does this mean for sold out? Buddy Murphy saying that he has to do his match later on tonight alone without the help of Wesley Blake. And speaking of a man that's went on to do things on his own, this man, Ray Phoenix, defeating his brother in the first round of the FNN World Championship Tournament. And what was a stellar, brutal match. And of course, now he is going up against the hardcore one, Bob Holly. But Bob Holly, whether he's able to make it to the match or not is another question after getting attacked by Nick Aldis earlier on tonight. But nonetheless, Ray Phoenix is here and he wants to get the gold again. He wants to shock the world and become the world champion once again. So they are playing his music. And Bob Holly is wrestling here tonight. You can see that he is bandaged up after those two brutal power bombs that he, he felt in the locker room area. Getting power bombed right into a locker, right into one of the booths. Brutal stuff by Nick Aldis, but let's hope this injury doesn't ruin what was surely going to be a real good fight here tonight. Bob Holly not letting it damper his spirits. 
takes in the fight zone, the fight zone accept him as one of their own. Up to the middle rope he goes for his signature pose here on Friday Night Nexus. Hardcore Bob Holly. Can he get one step closer to winning his very first World Championship? We'll find out here tonight as the referee has rung the bell and Bob Holly taking it straight to Ray Phoenix with the punches to the face. Very smart of him to take him down, big chop. There we go, Spine Buster, Christ. Down like a ton of bricks was Ray Phoenix. Now big Irish whip into the corner he goes. And now he's just getting beaten down by Bob Polly. But Ray Phoenix finally coming back now. Ray Phoenix calls him in, baits him and kicks him right in the face. Single leg drop kick right there. Ray Phoenix up to the top rope. Bob Polly rocked in a big lucha styled arm drag right off the top rope with some cork style manoeuvring. Spinning heel kick. Off the ropes he goes and Ray Phoenix says oh hell no handstand into the head scissors with a wee stylish kip up from the firebird right here taking it to Bob Paul here. Ray Phoenix big Irish whip into the corner punching down on the spine now. Bob Paul rocked. Here we go big Hurricane now Ray Phoenix standing shooting star press. Bob Holly looking in trouble here. Forearm to the face, kick to the gut and another sabata kick right there. Here we go, taking it to him. Taking it to Bob Holly, but Bob Holly finally coming back. More of these blows to the face, punching right in the chin. Close handed fists. Irish whip to the corner again, and here we go, Bob Polly now just beating him down. Bob Polly, Bulldog! Now Polly, picking up Ray Phoenix here, kicks him right in the gut, punches him in the face and a forearm. And here we go, big Irish whip. And back body drop, stunning right there. But Ray Phoenix says, oh hell no, nah. gives him a spinning heel kick to the side of the head. Irish whip. Now a forearm to the face. Remember Bob Holly was attacked earlier on tonight by Nick Aldis. So that will be playing a factor here. Here we go. Middle rock moonsault. Stunning right there. Standing shooting star press. And he's not finished just yet, a springboard moon so into the pin, count to 100, surely it's over more. What a, a, a beautiful chain of events right there from Ray Phoenix. Really taking it to Bob Paul here with the innovative offence, the beautiful high flying action happening right in front of us and wait a second. He set Bob Holly up for something, but you can see Bob Holly rolling, going for that frog splash, and Bob Holly gets the knees up. Gets the knees up. This is not looking good for Ray Phoenix now. Bob Holly has him up in a brain buster. Now, Irish whip into the corner, and a picture perfect drop kick straight from the 1980s, if you've ever seen it. Here we go. Oh, a vertical suplex from Bob Holly. Almost turning it into a brain buster, but not quite. And a, a stunning, stunning exploder suplex into the corner here. Bob Holly. Big Irish whip into the corner. And wait a second, here we go. Suplex position again. Beautiful vertical suplex hangs him up there upside down for a wee bit of time to add that extra bit of power in there to add that extra bit of dizziness and double axe handle 
elbows to the chest. Got Polly wearing down, wearing him down right here, grabbing the back of the mask, driving his head into the canvas. The fight zone are divided on who they want to win this match, be it Bob Holly, a newcomer to the World Championship, or Ray Phoenix, a man that has won it before. Up to the top rope goes Bob Holly. Going for an elbow to the spine, but Ray Phoenix managing to roll out the way. Ray Phoenix really taking it to him now. He just bows at Bob Holly to show some appreciation or perhaps to mock him. Who knows the intentions behind Ray Phoenix here. Another forearm to the face and another one. With a second crucifix pin. Holds on to him. Nope. Does he go for the pin yet? Nope. Got him. Yep, he's got him now. One, two, three. No. Bob Holly nearly getting rolled up the way it was when he first showed back up at FNN. He was defeated by Chris Bay by a roll up very similar to that. Now, Bob Holly. Here we go, full Nelson slam. A full Nelson slam. Holly saying that it is all over. Perhaps going for the Alabama slam here. Hammer throw into the corner. Here we go. Alabama slam time. No. Ray Phoenix ducking down, very smart, got down onto his back in order to stop the Alabama slam, kicks him in the face, beautiful arm drag there. Ray Phoenix now forcing Bob Polly into the corner, kicks him in the leg again, and another one. Up to the top rope, this can only mean one thing, the muscle buster, Jesus, onto the neck of Bob Holly. Jesus, stack of dimes right there. That's what that neck is. And he's not finished. Here we go, we've seen him use this move in his last few matches. That is the frog splash. Poor Bob Holly screwed out of it all due to Nick Aldis. But nonetheless, Ray Phoenix is our first wrestler to go into the finals of the World Championship Tournament. And you can see Bob Polly back to his feet here. And he's saying that there's no bad energy between these two. He extends the handshake and of course Ray Phoenix accepts it. What a match right there. Excusing the hiccups and due to Nick Aldis's fault. But we are going to hand you over to a promo by the returning Sami Zayn. So we're going to see Sami Zayn in action against EC3 next time on FNN, on FNN 105. And of course these two men, that's Grayson Waller on our left, Ellie Knight on our right. Both of these men have challenged Strong Style to a tag team match at FNN sold out. And it has been accepted, so that is our tag team match for that event and these men in tag team action here tonight and they don't seem to be taking it very seriously and of course there they are that is strong style not waiting until sold out just taking the fight to them just beating down Jesus they have beat down the challengers for their belt fight zone on their feet you can see Chris Ridgway just an elbow and down on an early night here, and a big elbow. Grayson Waller coming back now, snaps, suplex, and of course, 
There we go, Chris Ridgway noticed it and he's putting a stop to that. Big back suplex on that concrete. That is just concrete between where the padding and the ramp is. Just concrete for a second. Early Knight coming back now. Early Knight. Jesus. Early Knight eyeing up for something. He is eyeing up for something, but Chris Ridgway says no, takes him down with the arm drag and just kicks his head clean off. Chris Wall slowly getting back to his feet. You can see David Richards just managing to get to his feet and a super kick. Christ, an assisted super kick by Chris Ridgway there. Taking him down. And these two, the FNN Tag Team Champions here. Other ones standing tall. Guess we're not getting a tag team match as these men just put a stop to that right here. And they will face the team of Grayson Wall and Ellie Knight known as NFT. At FNN sold down, of course, when it comes to NFTs, that's exactly what you were doing. But let's run through the card for sold out. We have it confirmed Tony Storm, the women's world champion, will be going up against FNN's general manager in the form of Mickey James. And we'll hear from her next time on FNN. And fully confirmed the walking pin Josh Alexander got up against the real shooter, the shooting star champion, and Finn Balor. And of course, we also have the inaugural FNN Sprint Gauntlet match. That all goes down, it's sold down. We're just hearing words that this match has been confirmed. You will see the Reaper, Nick Aldis, going up against Hardcore Bob Holly. Of course, Bob Holly wants to avenge the beatdown that he just experienced.
We do seem to be back in the air here. That was Alistair Black at the ranch taking out Jun Kasai and of course this is the beast from Crow our hardcore champion Masada and Masada has requested some open mic time here tonight to say whatever he wants and who knows it could have implications for FNN sold out we're gonna find out in just a few moments but the beast walks in here he has been the shooting star the, the hardcore champion sorry since FNN Legacy when he defeated Mike Bennett in the Danny Havoc Ultraviolet Tournament and of course he has a, he wasn't able to defend it for quite some time did manage to defend it against Jimmy Lloyd when FNN entered a new era and of course he stayed as your FNN Hardcore Champion now let's find out what the Beast has to say here tonight on FNN 104 we're going to hand you straight over to him. So Masada wants FNN to feed the beast, he wants a challenge him. The lights have just gone down, the lights have... Wait a second, that is Pentagon Jr. And he just threw out the Sierra Mido. And what the hell, just spitting blood in the direction of Masada and Masada's just leaving. Perhaps we've just seen a challenge get set right there. Pentagon Jr. is the one to challenge Masada to a match at FNN sold out here tonight. And it is now time for our final semi-final match for the FNN World Championship Tournament. We are on our left side of the brackets here. 
as we have Drew Galloway going up against the Aussie Ironman and Buddy Murphy. And this is your main event. Let's enter the feet zone. Drew Galloway walks in to this event as a former world champion. He is facing off against the man that he decimated at FNN Down Under over three years ago and destroyed him right after his match with Dean Ambrose and he won his first FNN World Championship and of course he does want to go forward in this tournament as he did show that last time in FNN when he powerbombed Buddy Murphy right off of the stage to prove his point and you can see Galloway the insane phenom the chosen one is being escorted down to the ring by his agent by the voice of the black label Eric Bischoff that's slivery little bastard but Drew Galloway has been dominant in FNN has been absolutely dominant, destroying Wade Barrett at FNN Homecoming in the Bad Blood match, destroying Mark Andrews at FNN Legacy. This man has been looking for a new member in the Black Label, with the one rule that there has to be someone that's internationally, an, an, an international wrestler, someone that isn't American, along with someone that needs to defeat him in that squared circle. But this man does have a fighting chance up against Drew Galloway and it doesn't matter about that black label rule as this is only for one thing and that is the Ethereum World Championship that Buddy Murphy wants to get his hands on again. This man has won that championship twice. He is one of the only men to be a two-time Ethereum World Champion. Can he be the first person? to win that championship a third time. We will find out if and then sold out if he manages to get through that obstacle of a man Drew Galloway and you can see he's getting in the ring. He's going to hit him from behind, he's going to blindside Buddy Murphy. Buddy Murphy does not know and we just slapped him in the back of the head and Buddy Murphy not letting him get the advantage. Here we go, Buddy Murphy already taking it to Drew Galloway here, throws him in the air on the knee straight to the chest. Look how he just stays on him, constantly with these strikes. As Buddy Murphy said, he needed to do this alone. He kept, said that we, Wesley Blake can stay in the backstage area, st stay in the locker room, watch on the monitors. And Buddy Murphy just kicks him directly in the chin. That's how it's done. That's how the Aussie Iron Man gets business done here. Into the corner goes Galloway and Buddy Murphy not finished. Yeah, and a big elbow to the face. Here we go, staying on him. Buddy Murphy taking it to him. Got him up. Blue Thunder Bomb. Drills the insane phenom here. Drew Galloway getting rocked right to begin this match here. This is FNN 104, the main event. And Buddy Murphy stomping a mud hole in him. Stomping a mud hole right in the chest of Drew Galloway here. He's still not finished. Here we go, reverse STO. Drilling his face right into the middle turnbuckle. That's how it's done. And drop knee there right across the eyes. Buddy Murphy just shouting at Galloway here. This is a grudge match. This is three plus years in the making. The first time that these two have been one on one since the events Efren Down Under. As he said, Finn Balor put a stop to those dreams, put a stop to Buddy Murphy getting revenge and finally, this is it, finally Buddy Murphy getting his match with Drew Galloway here and just kicks him into the corner. Now Drew Galloway's taking the pain, but look, Buddy Murphy just immediately tries to get back up and bring the pain, but that forearm's going to put him down. Now Galloway Irish whip, got Murphy in trouble and a sit-out spinebuster right there, taking the Aussie Iron Man down. And here we go, 
Drew Galway not giving a second not giving him a second to breathe and just look at these punches down in the head Eric Bischoff just watching on now Galloway a knee straight to the face wait a second there's Wesley Blake on the stage I guess he did not want to sit in the sidelines he's coming out to show support for his tag team partner Buddy Murphy straight into his corner fight zone on their feet Drew Galloway noticing telling him that no matter what Wesley Blake cannot help there's nothing he can do to help Bishop just watching on watching the chosen one do what he does best and that's pick apart an opponent in the middle of that ring just tossing them from corner to corner going for the forearm there but Buddy Murphy moves out of the way now Buddy Murphy with a series of strikes and kicks that's what I'm talking about, big forearm to the face and now Murphy just stomping down on Drew Galloway again referee try again between them, you see Buddy Murphy shouted at him just told him do not touch me now Murphy throws his legs out the way, Gary Geary straight to the chest now Murphy getting fired up here, and Jesus a diving headbutt straight to the chest of Drew Galloway Here we go, Buddy Murphy with more of these strikes, big knee right under the chin. And Galloway rolls right into the where Murphy wants him and cries. Murphy came down hard there. Right down on his coccyx, right down on the tailbone and the lower spine. But nonetheless, Murphy's the first one back to his feet. Murphy throwing Galloway into the ring, Wesley Blake watching on. What has Murphy got planned here? Murphy, Jesus Christ, just a catapult spear right through the ropes. Murphy's not finished just yet. And a senton right off the top rope. Beautiful. The chosen one getting slapped about here. He's indeed been chosen by Buddy Murphy and it's for a reckoning. Jesus, look at these close lines. Just keep him held. Just keeping him. Got wrench the power. The absolute power of Buddy Murphy. See Murphy just shouting at Eric Bischoff. As Bischoff watches on. Murphy dropping the knee down in the eye once again. Right across the bridge of the nose. Galloway in trouble. Murphy all the way up in the top. Open another cent on. And Murphy hooks the legs. This could be it. Where's the referee? The referee not even in the ring. Here we go. One. Two. Three, no, you got to wonder if he was in the ring, the difference it could have made. You can see Buddy Murphy shouting at Wesley Blake, saying that should have been three. Blake just watches on, big chop by Murphy here, punch to the eye, and another chop. Irish whip off the ropes, and Eric Bischoff just grabbing the leg. Now Wesley Blake up in the apron, Drew Galloway trying to take him out. What the hell is going on here on the referee? sends them out sends the managers home Eric Bischoff is livid of course he is but this match continues on the ring between Drew Galloway and Buddy Murphy finally it's down to just these two men Buddy Murphy with the strikes it's only these two men that matter big German suplex now Murphy kicking the leg again Irish whip off the ropes, going for a yak as a kick there, but Drew Galloway with the clothesline to the back of the head. Right across the back of the neck and a series of headbutts to the face. A third one, a series of kicks to the guts, big chop. And Murphy, and Murphy's in trouble, Murphy in trouble, the inverted Alabama slam, smashed face first into the ring. And just kicking down in the face. Galloway, knee across the face again. He's out to maim Buddy Murphy. is making sure that he doesn't leave tonight in one piece. Making sure that by the time he leaves, he's leaving on a stretch and he requires facial reconstructive surgery. Massive clothesline. Christ, short arm clothesline right there. By the chosen one. The chosen one is decimating Buddy Murphy now. 
just moaning, I'm just beating down in the face. This is it, Murphy is in Galloway's domain. He's getting taken to school right here, oh my god, that head bump and Murphy coming back, kicks the back of the leg. He's not finished, going for a back suplex, I mean, just like that. Galloway takes control once again, stomping down in the face. No Galloway, just the knee again, that point of the knee straight to the face. Here you can see, Galloway's just wearing leather trousers, the odds of him wearing knee pads under those trousers are slim, so that's just the point of the knee straight into the forehead. This man is out to cause pain and it just mounts him again, this is what I mean. He's out to destroy his face here. Stomping down on the face, here we go with the knee again, right across the face. Murphy's bleeding. Of course he is, Murphy gushing out the forehead. After that last knee I think. It was either the knee or mounting, the, mounting him with the punches. Either or, it's going to bust a man open. That's exactly what's happened here. Murphy getting beaten up with these chops. Irish work to the other side of the ring. Galloway got him in a headlock, elbow to the back of the head, and that chop takes Murphy out of the equation, right out of the ring. But Galloway not giving him time to breathe, thrown right into the ring steps. Galloway thinking what should his next action be, and into the barricade this time. Side rushing leg sweep. Right on that thinly padded concrete right there. As you can see in the the audience side of the barricade, that's just nothing but concrete with it. It's a thin layer of padding on the ring side. It's not going to protect you much, especially not when your, your head is getting drilled back first into the damn concrete. It's not going to do much. Not going to do much to protect you. But Drew Galloway does not care about protecting Muddy Murphy here. He's out. To wreck him. And there's no more prime example of that than going under the ring for a damn steel chair. That's exactly what I attacked him with last week. On FNN 103, destroyed him with the steel chair, power bombed him right off the stage. And look at this belly to belly just chucking him back. Head connecting with that chair. Boy's got him again. And the distance, the height. Christ almighty. Galloway calling to his feet, he's got a steel chair now, this is it, getting brought into play, blood splattered on that chair. And again across the face of Mur Murphy's bleeding like a stuffed pig, looking like something out of saw right now. This isn't good. The man that everyone wanted to be his champion doesn't seem like it's going to be the case, but the man coming back with a fight here. He's coming back with fight, bouncing off the ropes, power bomb. Sent out, Murphy finally coming back here. Murphy bringing the offense here, trying to put an end to Drew Galloway. Here we go, class one, rear naked choke right here, got in the sleeper hold. Got him cinched in deep, this could be it. Oh, jawbreaker. I say, just like that, Galloway takes control, Murphy says, oh hell no. Nah. Here we go with these series of short arm close lanes right here. And the final one across the throat. This is it. Murphy finally coming back in this match now. Just stomping down. Here we go. That looks right into the testicles right there. Right into the testes. Jesus, he's not going to have any children after that. Drew Galloway not able to continue. Not able to continue the lineage of the chosen one after tonight, and now he's just getting destroyed with a steel chair. He might not even make it out of the arena tonight with his head. Now Murphy just face to face got the steel chair again. Cross face, you can see Drew Galloway is bleeding. Now it's him that's bleeding like the stuffed pig. You love to see it. Murphy picking him up. Not finished, just kicks him in the gut. Oh my straight to the face with that last one. All these leg kicks. Murphy knee under the chin and Drew Galloway rolling to the outside. Hanging on to the ropes. 
Murphy saying this is it, it's going to be over. Back suplex, here we go on to the hardest part of the ring. Oh. Murphy just dragging Galloway straight back into the ring, bow head first into the ring that is, and finally throwing him right back in. Murphy straight to the top, bro. What can he be going for here? Calling Galloway to his feet. Galloway listening. Perhaps dazed and confused, but no, he was playing the possum. The Meteora did not pay off. And Galloway now with the pile driver. Centre of the ring as well. Stomping down in the face. Galloway brutalising. Buddy Murphy here absolutely destroying him. Irish Wap Murphy ducking over, but no, gets kicked right across the chest. Perhaps popping a few ribs in the process. Now Galloway just punched him in the face. Here we go, reverse, inverted suplex right there. And Galloway now calling Murphy to his feet. Could he be going for the tombstone? No, goes for a short arm closely. It looked like he was setting up for something, but he is not finished giving the pain to Buddy Murphy here. Got that steel chair again. He tries to crack it over the head, but Buddy Murphy says, Oh hell no! German suplex to the centre of the ring. And there it is. Overhead view. Effing press right in the middle of the ring. German suplex. You've just seen his head connected with the bottom of the leg of the chair there. Bad can bust open the back of the head and Murphy just showing off, just showing his wrestling ability, slaps Galloway in the back of the head. A wee bit of disrespect, Murphy calling Galloway to his feet now, taking in the fight zone, you can see fight zone on their feet, Murphy saying come on bring it. Uh oh, Murphy going for the Murphy's law, got him up, got him all the way up, Murphy's law. Could this be it for Galloway? Murphy going straight to the finals. 3 no. Murphy blood pissing out of his head and still doesn't manage to get the win here. Galloway is just a phenom of his own. Now, here we go, Galloway coming back now. Galloway with the clubbing blows. Jesus, Murphy down to one knee. This is, it. this is what Galloway does best. Galloway just decimates whoever he wants. Tombstone, this is it. Tombstone pile driver for Murphy. Wait a second, no. Murphy gone. Murphy with the tombstone. Insult to injury pays off. Now Murphy con Galloway to his feet and just tosses him over. Murphy, Christ Almighty, these knees. Oh my god, stop already, he's already dead. Jesus, the pile driver into those knees, into the new law. And Murphy may have just gave himself a one, a big massive one way ticket to the finals. And of course, he got to cement that trip. First class with the spiral tap, and that is it. Count to 100. Buddy Murphy goes to the finals to face Ray Phoenix. Fight zone on their feet here. What a match. You cannot say that was not earned. Buddy Murphy finally gets to destroy the devil. He destroyed the insane phenom, the man that he's wanted to destroy for so long and of course that puts him into the final against Ray Phoenix what a tournament this has been what a tournament and what a match that was and at FNN sold out we are getting the Aussie Iron Man versus the man of 1000 lives we are getting Buddy Murphy versus Ray Phoenix Two former world champions. Two men that have fought their way to earn this match. And they get to end season four in the main event of Sold Out. 
for that FN World Championship. What a match it is going to be. What a match that was that we just witnessed. Buddy Murphy showed that he is indeed the best kept secret. And it really is safe to say that it is not, it's not a secret anymore. Secret no more right here. FNN 104, what a show this has been. I hope you've all enjoyed. This has been FNN 104. Thank you all for watching.